Welcome back, guys. Uh, today I thought I'd take a look at the new Ubuntu, uh, Lubuntu, uh, that's the Lubuntu 16.10, the new beta that was released the other day. Ubuntu released several um, flavors of their operating system. Uh, and Lubuntu is the one that I uh, actually prefer, Lubuntu and Zubuntu. Uh, Zubuntu 16.10 has not been released as of yet. So I thought I'd take a look at Lubuntu. It is a very, very low resource uh, operating system. If you have an old computer and you're looking to give it some new life or a new purpose, uh, then you can uh, load up Lubuntu and you will uh, be amazed at how well it runs. Now, the new Lubuntu... Uh, I tweaked it a little bit, but not a whole lot. Um, the resource usage, let's see, if I pull up, well, this is the resource usage uh, while, while with nothing running. Just after boot up, uh, I had installed a few packages, but I was not uh, doing the video yet. No GUVC view, no Kazam. Um, and you, as you can see, CPU usage was uh, virtually non-existent in 528 megabytes of RAM. Now, if we take a look at HTOP right now, you will see that um, CPU usage, as you can see by core, is still not high. Uh, but, but keep in mind, I've got the camera running, I've got Kazam running. Uh, memory is still very low, 1.38 gigabytes. Now, if we look at Task Manager, Task Manager still shows CPU usage. Well, it's fluctuating. It's right now 20%. So um, CPU usage is very low on Lubuntu, and so is memory usage. So if you have an older machine, uh, this would be ideal. Now, I don't see any uh, bugs or any issues at all with 16.10 beta. Um, the software that comes with it is minimal, uh, but most of the bases are covered. Now, I've gone ahead and I've added a lot of utilities like Caffeine, Clip It, Compton, um, Redshift, Synapse, Screenshot, so it does come with a minimal selection. The Chromebook, the Chrome apps are there because I installed Google Chrome. Uh, for games, I installed Play on Linux and Steam. Everything is running fine. As you can see, I have Battle.net running, War Thunder, Steam. No problems whatsoever. For graphics, I installed Conversine. Uh, if you're not familiar with Conversine, it's a uh, image resizer basically that works wonderfully um, all you do is select your, your it's pretty self-explanatory but select your images and then select your pixel width or you can do a percentage of the current image uh, very very nice very nice program it's basically, I think it's a, a, it's a GUI for image magic. Works terrific. I use it for batch resizing. It's really, really great. Um, so I added that and I added Shotwell. Everything else was there. Internet Firefox is the uh, default browser. I added Google Chrome, but everything else except for Steam was uh, out of the box. Office is just Abby Word and Genumeric. Uh, as I said, Image Magic was loaded out of the box. Sound and video, everything was there except for GUVC View, Kazam OpenShot, and SM Player. So everything else was out of the box. Uh, Wine, I installed in order to install um, Play on Linux and get Battle.net going. Um, Play on Linux actually looks in your system for Wine, so uh, I always install that ahead of time. 
Um, so, and I, I, NVIDIA working wonderfully, Broadcom Wi-Fi drivers working wonderfully. I went through the software updater, no issues whatsoever. If you look at the summary, um, the, there's my processor, I have a lot of memory, but it's the Yakety Yak, uh, that is the new 1610. I'm running the 4.4.0 generic kernel. I'll be very, very disappointed when LXDE desktop environment is gone. Uh, they're moving towards LXQT. If you take a look at the announcement, LXQT, they're saying that LXQT is still in development. Because of this, Lubuntu still uses LXDE, although we're getting closer and closer. Progress is made every day. I prefer LXDE versus LXQT. Just my personal preference. I'll be sorry to see it disappear. Um, I hope it's still available and supported for quite some time. So, guys, that is it for the Lubuntu 16.10 beta. As I said, no issues at all. Everything runs perfectly. Um, you would be, if you, like I say, if you have a, an older computer and you want to give it a new uh, purpose in life, uh, this would be a wonderful desktop environment or distribution to install. Now keep in mind it is a beta <clears throat> and so it is uh, a little buggy. It can be a little buggy. I didn't find any bugs but uh, I would not install it as your daily operating system. I would install it if you want to take a look at it. Uh, install it as a secondary system just for review uh, and then wait until the uh, the official release is announced uh, if you want to go ahead and install it as your uh, daily operating system. So guys thanks for stopping by the channel please rate comment and subscribe and I will see you soon. Take care.